So the first caution is misleading titles. So let's take a look at this first graph. Um, sorry about the, the fuzziness, it's the best I could do. Um, as you can see, the title of this graph says, Massive Increase in the House Prices This Year. This title is basically telling the readers what to think. Um, basically that there are huge increases in price. Um, when you're constructing a graph, you want to make sure that your title is pretty benign. It just describes what the graph is trying to depict. You're not trying to put a bias one way or the other. Our next caution is about scaling. Same graphs, massive increase in house prices this year. The scale moves from 0 to 80,000 in the same amount of space as 80,000 to 81,000. Another example is Fox News showed this chart of what would happen if the Bush tax cuts expired. I mean, take a look, disastrous, right? Well, if you check again, you can see that the scale starts at 34, which makes the difference between the two bars seem much more extreme than it really is. If you started the graph at zero, instead you would see that the difference between now and January 1st, 2013 would actually be pretty um, insignificant. Our next caution is incomplete data. Um, the following graph was used to show the global warming is real. Uh, what's wrong with this picture? Well, if you haven't seen it already, it only shows the first half of the year, so of course temperatures are rising dramatically. Caution number four is the numbers don't make sense. So obviously when we're making graphs, especially pie graphs like the ones shown, we want to make sure that the numbers make sense. So I don't mean to hate on Fox News again, but here's another misleading graph. What should the percentages in the pie chart add up to? And finally, we want to be aware of pictographs. So pictographs is something we didn't really discuss in the summer packet. Um, a pictograph is basically a picture that's used to represent a certain number of individuals. So you can see that this is the types of pets owned by PetSmart employees. And we have a key that shows us that the dog, one dog represents 50 people, one cat represents 50 people, one horse represents 50 people, and one fish represents 50 people. So basically, for our dogs, we have one, two, three, four, five dogs there, which is actually 250 people at PetSmart own dogs. So the perspe perspective here is misleading. The eye responds to the area of the pictures, not necessarily the number that they represent. So the animals are all different sizes, even though they all represent 50 people. So it appears that the horse has the most rep representation, but it really has the least. So if you do use a pictograph, you want to make sure that the figure or symbol that you're using is proportional, or is not proportional, but yeah, is proportional to the um, size that it represents.